<laughs> that sounds quite painful. Jesus Christ, Doc, it feels like some cunt's taking a shit inside me lungs. That sounds borderline impossible. Yeah, well, I don't know about that, Doc. Else is pretty crafty. And I do sleep with my mouth open at night. Oh, no. The other night I tried to impress her with jumper lead cables. Snapped right on me balls. She laughed. I got so fucking mad I kicked her in the cunt and left her piss and blood on the floor. <laughs> well, that'll teach her. Too right. So I take her to steal into the kinky stuff. Yeah, I'm a bit adventurous. Look, I'm all for a little bit of kinky stuff. I once had my ass smacked with a started paddle. <laughs> that's fucking nothing, mate. I once turned me gooch into a pincushion. Yeah, and that's what's beginning to worry me, Alf. I'm concerned you're going to take things too far and hurt yourself. Hey, eh? You better give me a look at your balls, then. <clears throat> Quite battered, aren't they? They've seen their fair share of action. Yeah, that's not good for them. Yeah, I know. Uh, how, how does that feel, Alf? Shit ass. Yes, well, I recommend you stop putting... Well, stop burning them after the second skin yes, graft. well, that's a bloody good step in the right direction. But I've been thinking, Alf, have you ever considered inflicting pain upon someone else rather than yourself to reach satisfaction? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, this little five-year-old slut named Sally. And what exactly is he would like to do, this little slut named Sally? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know, Doc? Wouldn't want to get caught, though. Maybe I should build myself a dungeon. I think that's a splendid idea. I know a good architect as well. His name's Martin Kelly, good friend of mine. He'll draw you what you want. <laughs> Cheers, Doc. Yeah. Fucking lifesaver. Okay, have fun now. Cheers, yeah. cunt. <laughs>